Welcome to Devo's next project. We're here in the back hills of Wombrel, a beautiful tranquil location. Um, we're going to transform this front entrance uh, to make it a bit more connected with the house, a bit cohesive with the rest of the garden. We're kind of lost between the garage and the front door, so we're going to redirect some lines and uh, bring, this, bring this property together. So what we're going to do here, this area is prone to a bit of flooding, so we're going to try and get a nice walkway to curve through the flood spot and um, have some steppers in there. So when the water level does come up a bit, we've got a bit of a natural moat happening. We're also going to uh, connect some of these lines up. We have a, um, another entrance to the main manor here. Um, a bit lost amongst the trees and, uh, and the floating boardwalk. So we're going to create a new pathway that connects us to a visitor parking spot through here. So we're going to start here, obviously, at the beginning, uh, which is our front entrance. Uh, we're going to rearrange a lot of these plants. Some of them are not quite suited to the conditions. We're going to also include a lot more native plants through here. Um, a couple of little bee hotels, um, some flowering natives, just to encourage a bit more bee activity. Howdy, we're, uh, we're here on planting day. We've got a fair few hundred plants to chuck in. Uh, we're doing a nice native corridor down here to attract as many native bees and birds as we can. Um, the rest of the planting around the house can be a nice tropical theme. A few uh, big old rocks and some um, river stones. Uh, there's a fair few hundred to put in, about five or six hundred, so I better get back to work. Yeah, here at Wanverall and uh, really happy with the result. The plants are pretty much 99% to 100% taken. Um, they're all settled in and it looks great. We've also constructed a decomposed granite pathway to the rear access of the property. Um, it was missing a bit of direction and a few doors that were leading to not really anywhere. So we've, um, we've worked out a way to connect all our pathways together. Uh, a nice bit of framing with core 10 steel edging really complements the native um, aspect of all the gardens. Uh, a lot of the plants we've used are native plants. The idea here is to lure and attract as many native birds and bees as we can. You see we've got a nice rolling green property here so we had quite a large area to fill up um, and hopefully over time, give it a couple of years, all these areas were all filled together. All the plant textures and colours will, will join and become quite a lush and um, beautiful garden to walk through, especially through the front door. We've got a great vision for all these plants. Um, we can see their future and, and where they can be in a few years to come, um, all, all combining together and coordinating well to make this house look amazing. And as these plants all grow together um, and get bigger and continue to attract the wildlife, they will look even more magnificent in years to come.